My offer's withdrawn. You can walk to work. Got it. You're morally outraged. Now can we get through this part? Because the next part's awesome. How do you rationalize something like this? You broke into Stacy's therapist's office. Borrowed a key. And stole her treatment notes. Nope. I made copies. Mark is, and I quote, oh. withdrawn, passive aggressive, he won't communicate like he resents me because I can walk. I don't want to hear this. Dishes in the sink, toilet seat up. Meanwhile, she can't stop thinking about, I can't read that. Is she obsessed with a gray horse or me? It says she thinks you're an annoying jerk. That's a pet name. Here's the kicker. They're not having sex? Doctor cleared him, but no liftoff. She's frustrated, so she's dock blocking me. Paperwork, seminars, meddling with my patients. Right now, you've got the proof you need. Just take those personal psych records to Cuddy. That'll show her Stacy's out of control. You ignoring me? While looking for my newspaper. Efficient, huh? Over here. <sighs> Dr. Wilson, I want you to meet my stalker. Your waiting room sucks. I am not treating you. Because you're a closet case? We're not, uh, together. He is so self-loathing. Well, we gotta go now, so maybe see no. you after work. Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, nobody can figure out what's wrong with me. Well, your shirt is gaping in the collar. It means you lost weight, you're flushed, that's fever, and you're short of breath. Finally, there's the KS lesion on your face. Since you're HIV positive, you've progressed to full-blown AIDS. So you're sick because your immune system is shot and someone sneezed on you. I'm excused now. Brilliant, but my immune system is fine. Your concentration camp physique begs to differ. Get your T-cell count rechecked. I've already done that. They test for T-cell lymphoma? It was negative. Well, all of this will be fascinating to an HIV specialist. Now let go of my cane before it becomes your new boyfriend. Honey, I will marry it if you look at my file. Congress says you can't, so... <clears throat> I didn't touch him. He's going into anaphylactic shock. Give you Calvin Ryan. So flamboyant in person, so boring on paper. Obviously got an opportunistic infection, probably TB or PCP. Have you read his file? I started, but I found the characters two-dimensional. We went to an HIV clinic last week. Tested negative for TB, PCP, MAC, CMV, HSV. It's not an infection. HIV clinic. So few patients, so much money. Redo the tests. The results make sense. Calvin's T cells are at 200. That's strong enough to fight infection. Fine, parasite. Nope. Stool sample was negative. Two months ago, he was down to 30 T cells. And he changed his meds, his immune system rebounds, his viral load drops. Everything's getting better, but he's getting sicker. Basic. This might be an interesting case. What if his immune system is too strong? An autoimmune disease with HIV, that's impossible. His new HIV meds kicked his system out of a sound sleep. He wakes up hungry, cranky, spoiling for a fight. When he doesn't find an active infection, it starts attacking the harmless remnants of old infections. Immune reconstitution syndrome. His meds made him so much better. He made himself sick. Sounds pretty boring. So not interesting. Chest x-ray to find the old infection. Start him on steroids. If you're wrong, steroids will tank his immune system. It'll get worse. Now that would be interesting. Where's the Coumadin? If your patient's got a blood problem, then blood thinners aren't exactly it's for Stacy's rat. Death by anticoagulation. Trying to win Stacy back by killing an animal. Pretty caveman. I don't want her back. I just want her to admit her feelings for me. I go to Cuddy. Cuddy fires her or reassigns her. Either way, I'm happy. If you want her back, either tell her, or better yet, shut up and cry yourself to sleep like everybody else. Hi, this is uh, Mark Warner, 1724 Spring Street. Uh, listen, you don't need to send that guy down. We, we caught him. No, you should send the bill to Princeton Plainsboro Hospital. Attention, Dr. James Wilson. Yeah. Your lymph nodes aren't swollen. That's good. 
Maybe Dr. Chase should check. Sorry, my hand's full. He's too pretty to be straight. You ever done any modeling? Does anyone actually fall for that line? Every day. Why do you think I became a photographer? I'm guessing you guys didn't think about dating on career day. I love my job. Really? You seem more the find it exceptionally satisfying type. I'm not sure there's a difference. Your mom died of diabetes. How's your dad's health? Last I heard, he had cirrhosis. Love is love. Satisfying is social validation. Fun can wait. I have fun. Yeah, she's got some schedule for February. Last you heard, your father? He threw me out when I was 16. That's just as well. I got tired of getting BB guns for my birthday when I'd asked for a Barbie. Dads can be real sweethearts. Mm, sensitive and cute. He's cute. Your talk screen came back positive for... Crystal meth and ecstasy. Recreational drugs are dangerous to begin with, but for someone with HIV... I didn't mistake them for vitamins. I'm a PNB boy. Party and play. Drugs and sex. <coughs> <coughs> you don't approve. Does the sex include condoms? If he's negative, sure. If he's positive, why put on a raincoat if you're already wet? You could get hepatitis or another strain of HIV. Or I could get hit by a bus. AIDS isn't a death sentence anymore. I don't want to have any regrets. <coughs> How long have you been coughing? Uh, about an hour or so. <coughs> Try to take a deep breath. <coughs> what is it? I think it's blood. 